tasks help you keep track of things that need to be done in Confluence. In this video, we'll review how tasks work natively in Confluence, and then take a look at tasks in Kamala Document Management for Data Center and Server. You can add tasks to any page in Confluence with the Task button or square brackets. Add mention the name of the user you want to assign the task to, and enter two backslashes to add a due date. The user will be notified by email, and when the task is complete, they can simply check it off. Users can see all their own tasks under their profile, and there are also task report macros that let you see the tasks assigned to multiple users in a space. Tasks and Confluence are a great feature for assigning to-dos, but Kamala Document Management's built-in tasks let you integrate them into the life cycle of a document and keep your content clean as well. Let's take a look. On this page, I've written a knowledge base article. Before this article can be shared, there are a few tasks that need to be completed. To manage that process, I've added a custom workflow to the page. Here, we see my page is in a draft state. When I'm ready for others to see it, I'll submit the page to the review state. In this state, there are a number of tasks required before the page is approved. It needs a copy edit, images added, and a technical review. I could also manually add more tasks for a more dynamic workflow. Once each of my teammates has completed their task, they can quickly check it off. And once each of the tasks is complete, the page will automatically transition to the approved state, letting me know that it's ready for my audience to view. In this example, I wrote the tasks into the workflow itself. This is perfect for content where you want the same process to happen each time, but you can also manually add tasks to the page. Here I've gone up to the action menu and clicked add tasks. And now I have the ability to just quickly add in my users and assign them the tasks, which they can then check off as you saw before. This works very similar to the native task feature in Confluence, but it lets me keep my content nice and clean. To create a workflow with tasks, you can use our simple markup code or our workflow builder. Here's the first workflow that we took a look at. And under the review state, you can see my tasks are listed here. With tasks and workflows, you can manage the creation of documents and other projects step by step. If you need a hand setting up your workflow, you can always reach out to our support team and we'll be happy to help. Thanks for watching and have a great day.